Hey again, and welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at a mason jar. Not just any mason jar, mind you. This is a dollar store mason jar, which is also a solar lantern. So I've been looking for something new to put at the end of my backyard. My backyard is actually, uh, so my backyard is very narrow but it is extremely long. I think it's like uh, 180 feet deep, but it's only about, geez, I don't know, 30 feet wide, maybe less, not sure. But, uh, oh, looks like this is all full of gunk still. But I kind of live in the uh, sticks, so it gets pretty dark back there. And I would like something to stick at the end of my um, garden, end of my, my yard, and I'd be able to see what's going on there. Now, I'm not expecting a lot of light, I'm not expecting very bright light, because this is probably running on a small nickel hydride kind of coin cell type deal but some light would be nice just so I can ah, see all the way back there so I kind of like this because it's uh, it, so it's like a metallic finish and it's speckled it's as if they sprayed a whole bunch of this metallic kind of chrome coating you see that but it's as if they sprayed some water or some oil or something in there first so that the chrome coating wouldn't stick to the, um, the the glass where the bubbles are so yeah I think it'd be pretty cool also very cool about this is that everything is contained in here it's just this module and it fits inside of a standard mason jar so if I feel like just having a clear mason jar or a white one or whatever, I can just get a mason jar, paint it, and stick it back there. I found uh, I find that kind of customizability pretty interesting. So first, let's see how this thing works, and if this thing works, turn it on. It's not on. Oh, there we go. Hey, that's actually moderately bright. This is not charged yet. I just sort of brought it home like this. Okay, uh, three screws, and you better believe that we're going to find out what's inside. I really wish this was a rubber seal, but it's not. It's plastic. That's fine. also comes with a nice hook. This was four bucks Canadian, and uh, if you're thinking that's a bit expensive for a dollar store item, well, welcome to Canada. Basically, uh, Dollarama, one of our biggest, uh, I think there's only two really big dollar store chains. They have stuff all the way up to four bucks. Oh, here we go. Ooh. You know, I'm amazed at the simplicity of these things. There is a nickel metal hydride, at least I think it is. Oh, NICAD, triple A, 100 milliamp hours, 1.2 volts. So basically, uh, dick all. And the solar panel, little glass solar panel, I like the glass ones because they don't uh, fade over time. I'm going to try to push that out. I don't know if I can actually get the circuit board out. Oh, there's a little screw there. And I bet you, you can't light a uh, white LED with a 1.2 volt battery. So there's going to be, certainly, yeah, a little jewel thief circuit. So basically an on-off switch, this uh, all-in-one uh, chip, which basically uses the solar solar powers, uh, solar panels generation to switch it off and charge the battery. So the solar panel will go directly into the battery and turn this chip off. And then when the solar panel stops feeding uh, current to the battery, then this thing will pulse this inductor, this looks like a resistor. Let me bring that in a little bit closer. 
this looks like a resistor, but it's not. It's an inductor. It'll pulse um, current through th that inductor, which will then uh, collapse. Like the pulse, it'll charge up, then it'll collapse. And that collapse will, will send a spike of voltage the other way through the diode, which will light the diode. So it's incredible how few components you need to make this work. It's a plastic case, solar cell, nickel metal hydride battery, um, one chip, which is called the YX8018, a white LED, a little inductor, uh, inductor with um, brown red, brown with a silver thing. So brown is one, red is two times 10. So it's uh, 120 microhenries, I think. It's in microhenries the scale. That's incredible. There's like nothing to this. Just put it back together and it even eases of assembly because there's only one screw here. In fact, if they wanted to make it a little bit cheaper, they could have just daubed a little bit of hot glue instead of the screw. But I, I'm glad they spent the extra money here. I wonder if these modules for the mason jars are available by themselves from China. So I don't have to spend $4 on this unit to just put in mason jars. There's even a little um, line you know alignment pin here so I kind of feel like modifying this but um, I think it's best if I just put it in the backyard the way it is and report back in a few months and see if water actually got in this if water got in this I may just have to waterproof it like pop the solar panel out and pop in some sort of adhesive or some silicon carny or something like that and then put it back out there to take a look but yeah for now there's literally nothing to this and you won't be able to tell with my lights on but if I flip my lights off No, nope, still not. Let me change the exposure. Here it is lit and it's a pretty nice effect I'll have to say. Obviously it's not as bright on your screen as it is in person. This is my hand over here. See, But it looks good. I wonder what it's going to look like at the, at the uh, end of the yard. Once again, thanks for watching.